Welcome back to the free software series. This is the second episode for this year. If you missed the other episodes in this series over the last couple of years, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check those out too. In addition to the other programs already mentioned, I'll show you five free software for your computer that are actually great. This video will have programs that are available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Coming up on Tech Gumbo. All the programs presented in this video are free and open source software. For those of you that don't know, what that means is that anyone is freely licensed to use, copy, study, and change the software in any way, and the source code is openly shared so that people are encouraged to voluntarily improve the design of the software. Examples of free and open source software that have already been presented in this series include GIMP, LibreOffice, VLC Media Player, along with many others. First up in this video is Nomax, which is an image viewer that is known for having amazing features that are typically not found in the standard photo viewers on most operating systems. It supports just about every common image format, including RAW. You can even resize and crop your images within Nomax without the need to open image editing software like Photoshop or GIMP. I have Nomax set as the default photo viewer on this Windows 10 computer, and if you have Windows, it's a lot more useful than the Photos app within the Windows operating system. It contains the standard features found in most image viewers, including slideshow, and being able to cycle through your images with the left or right arrow keys on your keyboard. If you want to make any changes to your photos, the editing options can be found in the toolbar at the top by selecting adjustments. Selecting some of these will instantly make changes to your photo, while others will open a pane on the right side where you can make additional changes. Also in adjustments, you have the ability to resize or crop an image. Nomax is available for Windows and the various distros for Linux. It appears that downloads for Mac are limited to Lion and Snow Leopard. Krita is a raster graphics editor that is designed primarily for sketching and painting for digital artists. The software has a ton of features. Some of those include drawing assistance, layer management, layer masks, and PSD file support. In the resources section, you can also import brush and texture packs from other artists to increase your tool set. When you first open Krita, you'll notice that it has a clean looking user interface that can be customized to fit your needs. In the default view, all the tools are on the left, just like most of the other graphics editing software. On Krita's documentation page to learn how to use the software, they provide a user manual, tutorials, a getting started guide, along with other resources to help you out. Krita is available for free on all the major platforms. If you're running Windows, they do have a paid app for Windows 10 users in the Windows App Store for about $10, with 70% of that going to the Krita Foundation. Otherwise, you still have the option to choose the free installers for Krita with all the same features as the app. Caden Live is a powerful, non-linear video editor that's very user-friendly and easier to use than most of the video editors that you can get. It has multi-track video editing and it supports just about any audio or video format. It also has tons of effects and transitions that can improve the quality of your project. If Caden Live looks similar to Shotcut, another video editor I've shown you in the past, there's a good reason for that. Caden Live is based on the same MLT framework as Shotcut. To get you more familiar with this software, in the user manual section on their site, I'd recommend checking out their quick start guide to get you started. Caden Live is available for most of the popular distributions of Linux. The Windows version is currently in beta. I wouldn't recommend installing on a Mac right now since the packages are outdated, but if you're feeling adventurous, go for it. Mix is a DJ audio mixing program with a full range of mixing, programming, and effects, which you can use for recordings or live presentations. It has full integration with your songs and playlists from iTunes, and supports most of the common music file formats. It contains many of the features you would find in expensive DJ mixing software, 
Some of those key features include time stretch, beat looping, master sync, along with equalizer and crossfader control. Mix also makes it easy to organize your music library. If you still own CDs, you can load those tunes into your library as well. If you've never used DJ mixing software, when you first open Mix, the user interface can be overwhelming. Thankfully, in their support section, they provide links to their wiki, user manual, and community forums where you can get additional help. Mix is available on Windows, Mac, and the Linux distro, Ubuntu. Next up is VirtualBox. Simply, what this program does is that it allows you to install and run other operating systems within a virtual environment on your computer. It's a great way to test out multiple operating systems. When you launch VirtualBox, if you've installed any operating systems, they'll appear here in the left pane. Right now, the only one I have installed is Ubuntu. If you're curious about trying one of the more user-friendly Linux distributions, Ubuntu is one I'd recommend for beginners. Linux Mint is another one that is great for those that are new to Linux. If you'd like for me to make a tutorial on how to set up VirtualBox and install operating systems within that software, let me know in the comments. If there's enough demand, I'll make a separate video. After you've installed an operating system into VirtualBox, to launch it, it's as simple as selecting the operating system from the left pane and then selecting Start. The operating system will go through its process of booting up. Eventually, you'll land on the desktop where you can launch and use programs for that operating system. VirtualBox is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments if you know of any free software that you think should be featured in this series. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and ring the bell notification icon for more free software videos and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.